Right guys, this is a video test of how bad the existing onboard charging is in a caravan. What we've got here is a workshop simulation essentially. So we have our 12 volt absorption fridge, we have our domestic battery, also we have wired in line, uh, ammeters and voltmeters, and here is our long cable length, which is approximately what you would find in the real setup between the car and the caravan. And then here we have our power supply, also known as the starter battery and the alternator. Okay. Okay then, so the first test is to... Let's just check that fridge is on. Yeah, the fridge is on. First test is to fire up the engine Let's say of a Volkswagen Tiguan or a Volkswagen Passat or Golf, any towing vehicle with a Euro 6 engine. We fired it up and often we see the starter battery's voltage at 12.2 volts. So with the engine running, you can often see the starter battery way down at 12.2 volts as if the alternator isn't doing anything. And if we follow the lead along, so we're getting 12.2 volts coming in. We're getting 12.03 volts at the domestic battery, so that just shows that the domestic battery is having absolutely no charge going into it whatsoever. And we have an absorption fridge that is consuming approximately 10 amps. Okay. So the amount of current going into your domestic battery is actually minus 3 amps. So at this current state, we are getting a net draw from the domestic battery of 3 amps. So to sum up diagrammatically, what we have in our first little test here is that the alternator is at 12.2, the starter is at 12.2, your domestic is down at 12. So when this relay here engages, when you start your engine up, the net current flow is out of the domestic, out of the starter, to run your fridge. Okay, no net charge performance into the domestic battery at all. If anything, this voltage here will drop, current will leave, and it'll be passed around to run your absorption fridge. Okay, so that is the conclusion for the first test, whereby under normal conditions, driving modern Euro 6 vehicles, you're actually depleting your domestic battery whilst running the fridge, whilst towing. So what we've got here, what I've done now is change the domestic battery's voltage up to 12.8 volts. And what we find is a bigger increase in current flow. So your domestic battery will become even flatter the higher the, the charge in the domestic battery is. Okay. During this test, we will also introduce Sterling's battery to battery charger caravan model, also known as the Wild Side, which is a device that can be plugged in line with existing cables. You don't need to produce new cables, simply wire it up, and we'll demonstrate the huge charging performance just by installing this unit. So, this is the, the next test. This is involving the Wild Side battery to battery charger. So, I've turned on the power supply now uh, at 12.2 volts. We're going along the same cable as before, running the same cable, so the same 2.5mm squared cable, however we're putting it directly into the battery to battery charger. So one of these lines is the, uh, the connection from the starter battery and the other is the direct line from the fridge connection input. Going through the battery to battery charger and then we're outputting to the domestic battery and at this current time, we're putting 8 amps into the domestic battery. And the domestic battery's voltage is climbing. So we're actually putting a net charge onto the domestic battery. And simultaneously, we are running the fridge. So the fridge line is also engaged. And as you can see, the fridge is on. It's operational. Okay. So that's the setup there. A slight reality check on this particular test would suggest that any modern vehicle would not 
be sat at 12.2 at 30 amps. What would likely happen is this voltage would drop slightly, you know, 12.1, 12.0, 11.9, and then the intelligence on the vehicle itself would actually shoot the voltage right the way up, i.e. putting it into regen mode, which we've seen up to over 15, 15 volts in many cases, but we'll just use 15 volts for now. So I'll put the voltage now up on the alternator to 15 volts. Current has dropped slightly. But as you can see, the charging performance on the domestic battery is still climbing. No, no change here whatsoever. Current's dropped slightly. Uh, but the unit's still performing as, as expecting. So the beauty with this unit is that you can basically put any input voltage into it from 8 volts all the way up to 19 volts and it will regulate the output voltage to a nice 14.4 volts on the output. Uh, and as you can see, this voltage here is climbing up to 14.4 volts. It's not there yet because we're in current limit, but it will get there eventually. Okay.